What is up, everyone? Happy Friday. Got a lot of green coming in today as the bell is rung. Good job, a good jobs report this morning. Dow up five thirty two, Nasdaq up three oh five, and S and P up sixty two. So, not quite sure what to think of. Uh, not quite sure what to think of uh, this big up move and what will happen today. <clears throat> Hopefully, uh, hopefully, it just sits there and chops all day. A lot of positive earnings yesterday after the market closed. So on a big day like today with like the day trading strategies, um, if I if I go against the market, which would be to get short, definitely definitely would probably size down a little bit. <clears throat> Just have to see how things go. Square up uh, a little under seven percent. Apple up a little over seven percent. Uh, yeah, 7DTE is what I trade on Fridays. I guess it's probably been a while since I've traded. I don't think I've led the live stream on Friday in a while. We have this new channel that will show you the schedule. Ah, Steve. Steve giving Christian a hard time. Well, yesterday markets were up and they just they dropped by like 40 points out of the gates. So we'll have to see what happens here today. TKNG at earnings yesterday, it's up a little over 7 uh just a reminder uh, 7 DTE is what I use on Fridays for anybody that just joined Fridays aren't my favorite day to trade these strategies but Mondays and Fridays are my least two favorite. Let's 
see, when was the last time I led the live stream on a Friday? I have to go back to February 9th. Our second bar here now. VIX down to 13.8. Tell you what, the VIX takes the elevator down as well, huh? Just been crushed lately. Yeah, let's see what kind of volume we get coming in here on a Friday. It would be kind of nice to get a nice upside volume runner. Man, what a great uh, upside volume runner Boeing was yesterday. Wow. That was a beaut. Been a while since I've been able to uh, profit uh, on an upside volume runner like I did on Boeing. Let's see what I think it was Ken that called that one out. Love it when you all call them out if I'm missing them. <clears throat> Nothing looking too promising here out of the gates, though. Well, in the past, when I have traded on a Friday, it's been pretty... Um, usually just try to get in a couple and get out. It's... Not the best day for these strategies. It's be coming down a little bit since the open. Now it'll be interesting to see if we get consolidated price throughout the day or if we get continued upward push. Sometimes, sometimes when you get these big overnight moves, or I guess big pre-market moves, sometimes you know, it's pushed itself as far as it can push and it just chops the rest of the day.
So nothing in the no big volume bars. Be patient here. S&P starting to pop back up. Uh, wonder how wide of an iron condor you can get. The low VIX. There is a 32-point expected move right now. Surprisingly wider than I thought. Yeah, it's definitely wider than I thought it would be with a VIX at Looking for some mighty 90s now. I'm in dire need of some more coffee. John K. Airbnb. Yeah, I mean, not not a ton of volume separation there. Technically, yeah. I haven't traded Airbnb much though because the the bid ask has been is always so wide. Yeah, no chance, no chance. 
That's an incredible bid ask spread. Amazing. SPX pushing up to highs of day. NASDAQ through highs of day, through where it opened. Roku had a mighty 90, but man, it was, it's just tight range. But it definitely had it for the volume. I mean, the volume's set up for a mighty 90, but just don't necessarily like trading it when the range is as tight as it is. A lot of stairs stepping down in volume, which is pretty typical for a Friday. Wondering if we're going to see S&P get to all-time highs today. I mean, it's been a while. NVIDIA, <clears throat> how much time is that? I don't know, we're getting a new bar here right now, so next 10 seconds, so that would not qualify. MU,
Yeah, definite mighty 90 and MU. Let's see, you got to find the seven days to expiration. Let's see, I'll put MU here. Be a short. Push up. Let's see. I would trade the 115 puts. <clears throat> Going short, so I'd probably go a little smaller than normal. Build at 240. You could probably get a better fill than I got on that. Good spot, John K. <clears throat> yeah, he definitely get a better throw. I thought I was getting a decent fill. That was not a good fill on my part. Could have probably got in at 230. So hopefully you get two red consecutive red bars in this strong market. Netflix pushing up. And how did I get such a bad fill there? Meta may have a mighty 90 shaping up. Let's see if it can push back up to highs. Yeah, I got in on MU at 240, which was a not a good fill. It was not a good fill at all. So I may be adding to MU. Meta pushing up. Looks like it's going to have a mighty 90. And I would trade the four... 50 puts. So it's 675 in meta for another mighty 90. And again, you could get a better fill in meta than I got. But that's a good looking mighty 90 in terms of volume. See how it's clear volume pop there.
Micron got, gave us one red bar. Also, part of my risk strategy is to not go same direction on more than three trades. So I wouldn't get short more than three trades or long more than three trades. And in a case like this, where the markets are up big, I wouldn't probably get short more than two. And obviously, like I had mentioned at the beginning, went smaller than normal because I'm going against the market. Meta pushing up to where I could probably add to it. If it gets to about six bucks. Go to 605 in meta to add. So 10% would be 665. My original fill was 675. So I'll just put close half at 675, which was my original fill. Put that, put that in, let it sit. MU is pretty much where I got in at. I've got an order in at um, 265 to close half, or I'll just close close it after this second red bar, wherever it's at, especially since the market's strong. It's actually kind of setting up like it would, like it's going to be an upside volume runner. Or I'm, I'm not volume runner, upside continuation runner. So it looks like it's going to give us two red bars, MU. It's not going to give me much profit out of them, but. Got 30 seconds here. Push down. If I got a better fill, that was the problem. All right, so I'm going to close my MU. Trying to get filled at 250. No, filled at 248. Man, it popped right back up, didn't it? Let's come back down now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Build at 675 to close half my meta. All right. Good ad there. Oh, MU's really falling now. Darn it. <laughs> oh, well. It happens.
still think it's going to rock it up higher. But we'll see. S and P coming down. See, so yeah, I would close another meta at man. I mean, you could have been a lot better profit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, another meta at, ooh, we're going to close one right now. Build it, oh, no, it's, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. Don't, I don't need two right now. Don't send that. Seven thirty-five. Let's say put an order in at that seven thirty-five. ISM manufacturing just released. Uh yeah, Netflix. You could probably consider that a mighty ninety. It's got three in a row that are higher. <clears throat> so yeah, you could have considered that one. <clears throat> Tesla coming down. Gotcha, yoga holic, yoga delic. Wow, look at MU just falling now. They could have done that on the second bar. I've been in business. It looks like Tesla might get. A downside volume runner potentially. Fix coming up. Up to fourteen. I've got an order at seven thirty five. Go to 735 to close another meta. Apple, not really seeing anything in Apple. Yeah, no. Like John K, take a look at Amazon and then look at Meta. You see the difference in the mighty 90s? We, we really want that volume pop separation like this, not just a tick or two higher. So I got one red bar out of Meta. Goog, and that was... I'd say that's probably a mighty 90 in Goog. Pretty close to a big volume bar, though. Tesla, same thing, was probably a um, mighty 90. 
rather than a volume bar. Move coming down still. A little hesitant on Goog, but that bar is definitely not as big as the first, so... Close though. I think I'm going to sit out Goog. It's just, it's just too close to call in terms of a downside volume runner or a mighty 90. I like setups that are more like meta. Yeah, Roblox. I don't, I don't trade Roblox because it's, it's too small. Although 7 DTE, maybe it's the options are a little bigger with 7 DTE. Let's see here what they are. Yeah, 7 DTE is a lot better. Um, Roblox, I mean, that's that's that, that's definitely a, a good. Uh, volume pop there. However, like I wouldn't trade it though because you're talking a range of 38.9 up to 0 .3, 0 0.3 points. I like guess just too tight of a range to trade. So I wouldn't trade, even, even I wouldn't trade that, even given that volume. Yeah, Meta, hopefully, hopefully give us a second <clears throat> red bar here. Close another Meta at eight bucks. Go ahead and get out of another one here. Build at seven ninety. Got two metas left. It is giving us our second red bar, so I'll probably just close it. at 760 to close meta let's see what Goog's options are here I don't do like that as a mighty ninety long. See, Goog, I would trade the. 167.5 calls.
see if I can get in as it comes down here. You've really fallen. Go to two twenty one in Goog. Yep, hoping for a little bounce here in Goog. Now we close half at two forty five. I would add to Goog at about two bucks if it comes down. That far? Things starting to get weak. S and P down through lows of day after it had gone up past highs of day. Piece of Goog. How much time we got left here? Yeah, make sure Goog doesn't get an upside or a downside volume runner here. That volume's. Getting close. Kind of hoping to add to Goog. Maybe I still can. Doesn't look like that volume bar is going to be as big as the first. But I'm going to try to add to Goog here. Filled at 203. Now we close half at 223. Which is pretty close to my original. So let's see this market get strong again here, hopefully.
Looks like it wants to continue downward. A times you get these pushes down like this, then you know if you're in a mighty, if you're in a mighty ninety, <clears throat> a lot of times you get a good bounce. Meta pushing back up. Let's see if we can get Goog to start pushing up. <clears throat> You're not wanting to push up. That's not a good sign. Some of these other stocks are pushing up. Amazon, Meta. <clears throat> Darn it. Got two winning Mighty 90s so far. I was kind of hoping to add a third and be done. Good falling. S and P's just hanging out right about lows of day. I'm surprised that Goog is pushing down like this when everything is so strong and a lot of other tech stocks like Apple are strong. But I'm going to wait for my two green bars. been a while since i've been caught in a mighty 90 where it just pushes like this that's why position sizing is so important that's the p coming down to lows of day NASDAQ as well. Uh, Mukesh, yeah, the seven DT, seven DT. Don't I don't we don't do the Z, zero DT for these trades it just moves way too fast, and the theta decay can really hurt you.
Steve and I, back in the day, when we first started doing these strategies, we did, we did, we we jumped into some zero DTE, um, just buying calls and puts for these strategies. We had, <clears throat> if I remember right, we had a couple day, a couple two or three in one week where you can make big money doing the zero DTE, but you can also lose big. And I remember we we had some really nice winners. And then when we the next the next week, I think it was, we found out that. Um, but you can really have some really quick, big losers. <laughs> we decided eh, to just stick to the seven DT when we're trading these on Fridays. Now, I'd like for it to at least get back up to my where my ad was but before I get out here. But I don't know, man. It's where's Chris at? Is there something going on with Goog? I mean, everything's so strong. I mean, Nasdaq's up 270. The Goog has been in a free fall. Usually I'm pretty confident about getting two green bars in, in, in a decent amount of time, but uh, I'm not really looking too confident here with Goog. S&P coming down through lows of day. I think I might just close my Goog and... Just call it a, call it a day. Um, I'm sure if I close it, it'll bounce. Very rarely do I do I bail on a mighty ninety. I typically wait for two bars. So let's let's give it let's give it another bar. Let's give it another bar. I'm gonna wait another bar. We got forty five seconds left in this bar, so. So there's times, a lot of times, I bail in the last minute, and then it's, you know, once that bar closes, then we get a bounce. So that's why I'm letting this bar close, see what the next one wants to give me. Wow, Tesla really coming down. Google, I'm sure, has eaten all my profits from my two other trades. Well, since it is 7 DTE, I'm just going to go ahead and wait for two green bars no matter what. State of decay won't be awful. So I'm going to jump off and um, 
give a peek at TLC, but as of right now, I'm not really liking the S&P price movement either for a iron condor. So might be waiting a while on that as well. Looks like price has moved down 10, 20, 30, 40 points on the S&P in the last 25 minutes. <laughs> that doesn't bode well to iron condors. 40 point drop. So yeah, so I'm just gonna let's try to salvage a little bit here. And just again, this is why I don't look at my PL when I'm trading these strategies. Because I, I know I position size, so if I gotta take a big loss, it's gonna be okay. Um, but man, I would like to at least get back up to where I entered my ad, which yeah, I'm 10 cents away from that. So let me just, I'll just go ahead and stay on here for another five minutes. And see if this bar moves up. That's Tesla really coming down. It had, a, it had similar volume as Goog. <clears throat> and Tesla has not given two consecutive green bars yet either. All right, so Goog may give us a green bar here. And it's it's back up to where I added. So here's here's a good lesson for everybody. No panicking. It does look bleak when it's pushing down, but just don't panic on it. Let it follow the rules. If you follow the rules all the time, you will be more profitable. Then if you panic and close things out, if I would have closed things out there and I was close to doing it, probably closer than normal. Um, I, I would have closed it out. I'm sure for a big loss, but it's looking like it might turn into a profitable trade now. I mean, it's just it's just following the rules, you know? I mean, it's not anything, I don't know what the word is. It's not like it's anything, like I, I knew it was going to balance. It's just following the rules. Yep, exactly. You can't, and that's why I don't look at my P&L. Like, I'm sure it was looking pretty bleak. I got an order. I got an order in at two twenty five to close half, or if they get a second green bar here, then I will close the whole thing. Heck, I may just close it, even if it doesn't give me much of a push up, just because I know I've gotten. A lot back, and I know my my meta mighty ninety was a big winner. Love to see one more nice push up, just like it just did. I'm going to go ahead and lower. I'm going to close half at 220. Lower that five cents. 
See if it can push up and hit me. Push up. Well, maybe we're starting to see a little chop happening here. On the S&P, NASDAQ. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, Goog. Get back up there. You know, I, the market's so strong, and even though it's it's come down quite a bit since it opened, I would still think we would get some up movement today at some point. And so that's why I just firmly believe um, at some point Google will spit out two green bars consecutively. Goog's kind of holding on. What I would love now is for it to finish right there red and then give us two consecutive green bars up. Oh, come on. Turn red. Turn back red. Yeah, give us a red bar so they can get another red. So let's just hope now it pushes up. I wouldn't has I, I I wouldn't blame you if you just closed it and called it a day. It is a little above my Add. I did take a peek at my meta and it was a $625 winner. <laughs> kind of want to see where that was at to... Figure out what to do here with Goog. Don't usually do that. Build at two twenty. Here we go, folks. 
That is why you follow the rules. What'd you get in that, El Piero? Nice. Yep. Yep. The ad's important, man. It, it can give you some, it can give you some really good winning mighty nineties. I mean, it goes against you at first, but that's why you don't, you, you know, you just think about, okay, my max size on this mighty ninety is going to be if I add to it. So what would that max size be with an ad? You know, if that's like, eight contracts or whatever, then start off with four when you do a mighty 90. If it's 12 contracts, then start off with six, then add six. Like Meta, I started off with four, then I added four. Then it got back up to where I originally went in and I uh, got rid of four. Plus 600, nice. All right, well, I think I'm going to jump off here now and look at potentially some TLCs. Looks like price might be consolidating a bit. Um, going to be pretty careful, though, on my entries today. <clears throat> I'm going to see if – I'm just going to hold Goog, see if I get up two consecutive green bars here. And if I do, I will close it out, and I'll post my um, fills in the Day Trades channel. I currently have an order at 240 to close another Goog, but we'll see if we get there or not by the time we get to – two consecutive green bars. So, all right, everyone, I'll see you during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.